and we back now today we're playing a very simple game named were they teammates we're gonna see two nba players and we got to determine if their paths cross somewhere on some nba team now it may sound easy but with free agency the different trades that go down People are switching teams way more often than you think. There's some players in NBA history that legitimately played for over 10 teams. You know who I'm talking to, Mr. Joe. Joe Smith. And if you do the math on that, that's like a thousand team. No, it's not that many, but that's a lot of teammates. So today we just got to see if players cross paths somewhere. Let's get into it. This is created by NBA legend. 0976 it seems like people are starting to make less and less nba quizzes which is fine but whenever i see somebody make one specifically for king of the fourth quarter i gotta give it a try 30 questions eight minutes the sporkle bot only got 14 and i think the sporkle bot usually be on this stuff so if he only got he got less than 50 percent then i may be in trouble but let's not waste any more time let's get it alan iverson and marcus saw 100 with teammates with the Memphis Grizzlies, 2011-ish. This is that three games. I think it was three games Allen Iverson played for the Grizzlies before he was like, you know what? Y'all try to get me to come off the bench. Who, who do you think you are? I'm Allen Iverson. I should be starting. They didn't want to start him. Then he went back to Philly, and then he played in Philly for a couple games, and that was it. That was the end of Allen Iverson in the NBA. Sad, sad story. Trace McGrady and Zaza Pachulia. So the way I'm going to think about this, what teams did Trace McGrady play on? What team did Zaza Pachulia play on? And did they play at the same time? Both players played for the Atlanta Hawks. Yes, Trace McGrady played for the Atlanta Hawks very late in his career. And I'm going to say they did cross paths. Yeah, they did. Tyron Lue and Michael Jordan, 100% true. The Washington Wizards, we talking, of course, past Michael Jordan Prime, but he was still dropping 20 a game. Don't sleep. Michael Jordan was still a beast late, late in his career. Jeff, Adrian, and Klay Thompson. So, Klay Thompson's only played for the Golden State Warriors. The only memory I have of Jeff, Jeff Adrian, I think that's the Atlanta Hawks. And I could be mis thinking of the wrong player completely. Because, obviously, Jeff Adrian, he ain't really, you know, that. I'm just going to say no. Because I don't think he played for the Golden State Warriors. There we go. Chela Pars and Lance Stevenson. I don't think they ever, you know, cross paths and everything. Chela Parsons has been here and there. Lance Stevenson has been here and there, but never together. Never together. Marcus Camby and Jeremy Lin. So Jeremy Lin got New York. Actually, Jeremy Lin has bounced around a bit over the past couple years. Jeremy Lin, um, uh, New York, LA, Charlotte, Brooklyn, now Atlanta, but never with Marcus Camby. I don't think they ever, yeah, they didn't cross paths. Ben Gordon and Jonas Jarepko, 100%. Y'all know I followed my boy Ben Gordon when he went to Detroit. I mean, when I say followed, I just mean I watched him. I'm not saying I became a Detroit Pistons fan, but he did play alongside Jonas Jarepko. Quincy AC and Seth Curry. First thing that comes to mind is the Dallas Mavericks, but I don't know if Quincy AC played for the Dallas Mavericks ever. I'm going to go no. That's, that's like two players that I don't even know the history of them. I'm just going to say they have not, and they have. So maybe Quincy AC did play for the Dallas Mavericks once upon a time. Or maybe they met up somewhere other place. Rajon Rondo and Ty Lawson, not a chance. Not a chance. Charles Barkley and Steve Francis. The only place I could see them potentially crossing paths is in Houston. But even then, I feel like I would remember them playing together. What year is the Steve Francis play? I'm going to say, I'm going to say... No. Wow. So it, it had to be Houston. It had to be Houston 100%. Al Horford and RJ Hunter. False. Al Horford came to the Boston Celtics, I think, the year after RJ Hunter was out. So false. There we go. Redeeming ourselves. We got two wrong, but we redeemed ourselves. Jason Terry, Lafonso Ellis. Jesus Christ. I don't even know. Jason Terry has been... Oh, he's been around a little bit. You feel me? He's been on some different teams. Atlanta. Dallas. Milwaukee, like he's been in a couple different places. I'm gonna say he has. Take a shot in the dark. There it is. Cause I've been trying to use the two I got wrong. I was trying to use logic. Sometimes you can't really do that. Trevor Reason and Razul Butler. I have no idea. No idea. Let's say no. There we go. Udon and Darrell Wright, 100%. They both played for those Miami Heat teams. I don't know if Darrell Wright was there for a championship with the big three, but I know 100% sure he was in. 
Miami because he like led the league in three-point shooting percentage or something crazy like that. Darrell Wright had one year where he was just a knockdown shooter. And uh, he's no longer in the league, but he got a little bro there representing that name. Ben Wallace and Christian Leitner. I'm going to go no. I'm going to go no and just... Yeah, here we go. Okay. Shaq and LeBron, 100%. Cleveland. Was that the last stop of Shaq's career? That may have been the very last stop of Shaq's career, but yes. Delonte West and Derek Fisher. No. But then again, Derek Fisher had the couple years of his career where he was bouncing. I'm just going to say no. I'm, we don't have much time, actually. Carlos Boos and AK-47. Facts. Rodney Hollis Jefferson and Darren Williams. No, Darren Williams was far out the door before Rodney Hollis Jefferson ended up there in uh, Brooklyn. So I'm going to say no. That is young and J.J. Barea. Has that is young only played for the Pacers? I mean, that's my only... No, he played in Brooklyn, too. He did play in Brooklyn, too. But J.J. Barea did not play either of those places. So, no. Kevin Seraphim, Monte Ellis. I think with the Indiana Pacers, yes. Walter McCarthy and Gerald Green. A... I don't, I have, I've never seen this name before. Never. N I'm going to say no. Is that a, re I, is it, okay, we're going to do a quick search, but that's for after the video, okay? False. Kendrick Perkins and, Nor and Norris Cole. See, I don't think Kendrick Perkins played for those Miami Heat teams. Did he? No, he didn't. Chunky Brown. Another name. We Googling it because I, I don't even know who that is. And Magic Johnson. So did Chucky Brown play for the Lakers? No. Paige Stoyakovic and J.R. Smith. Timelines for the Hornets don't really match up. No. Mike Baby and Jeff Teague. This is a weird one, but I actually remember this. So true. Joe Johnson and Boris Diaw. Uh, I don't think they ever crossed paths. Did Boris Diaw ever play in Atlanta? He's another one of those players that kind of bounce around a little bit before he found his real home in San Antonio. We're going to call it his real home because that's where he got his rings at or ring at. Maybe it was rings. But I, I just remember Boris Diaw passing out of that post being a crazy playmaker, but not with Joe Johnson. Chris Mullen, Jalen Rose, 100% with the Indiana Pacers. Shout out to Jalen Rose. Two more questions. Andreas Nocioni and Luol Deng. Of course I know this, baby. Yes. Those were those teams where we were doo-doo, baby. But it was fun. You gonna give me two Luol Deng questions back to back? Sasha Khan, no. Did you give me two Luol Deng questions back to back? You can't think of no other Bulls players in history to try to match up? All right, well, we got a 93%. That was a lot easier than I expected. We got two wrong. Who is... Hello? Whoever he... This is the guy he meant to put. Oh, my God. Look at, see, this is what I mean. This is one of those players that play everywhere. Cleveland, L.A., some place I've never heard of. New Jersey, Dallas. Grand Rapid Hoops. A CBA team. Then he went to go play overseas, and he's back in Houston. This guy, every year of his career, he played a different place. He did not have a contract longer than one year for a single team. That is crazy. He didn't win a championship, though. With the Rockets. Shout out to him. He got he got his one. He bounced around for so, so many years. I'm glad I Googled this. Look at the man's career. Just everything is a different play. Okay, and who was next on the list? Walter McCarthy. Cardi. All right, let's see what Walter played. Not many places. New York, Boston, Phoenix, and L.A. They got to some coaching. Oh, he's still coaching to this day. So, shout out to him. He won a championship in the NCAA 2000, or 1996. My year. So, Chucky played for 12 NBA teams, which is close to half of NBA teams in today's league, which is crazy. And also, I think I mentioned Joe Smith played for 12. Marco Bellinelli is still in the league, played for 9. And Smith has played for 10 in 7 years. He's played for 10 teams in 7 years. Wow, Sean Livingston bounced around with that injury. Um, DJ Augustine, yep, that's another player. Joe Green, for sure. Richard Jefferson, for sure. The crazy thing about all of this is that he played 12 seasons and played for 12 different teams. The dude's basically playing NBA my career. He got bored of playing for this team. He wanted to get out of that, got traded to the next team. 
I'm sure this is not exactly how it worked out, but I just imagine how hard it could have been for like his family having to move every single year. But nonetheless, thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you're at this point, be sure to leave it a like. And yesterday's video, I mentioned that I will be in New York City and I'm going to do a live show with my co-host through the wire. That is 100% confirmed. We will be doing that live show. We just don't know the exact date. So follow me on Twitter in the description and I'm going to be letting y'all know all the details there. Thank y'all so much. Kenny is here, but Kenny is out. Thank you.